This is a microwave transformer that's unmodified. The uh, way these are set up is the body of the microwave transformer is one of the terminals. You can see how it's hooked to uh, the case or the core right there. There's a little wire that comes up. The other side is free and if we want to see what happens here, this is 2000 volts. We get a really nice size arc there. 2000 volts at about 1200 watts. Okay, now don't do this at home. You could get hurt. The point is I want to show you two ways transformers can be used. There's well, many different ways transformers can be used, but I'm going to show you two extremes. This is the a high voltage application. This transformer has a primary down here at the bottom that consists of a lot of turns, about 120 turns of wire. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, so down here you see the primary. This second winding on the top is very fine wire. Many, many more turns up here. Um, the turns ratio is probably at least 10 to 1, if not more. So we have 120 volts coming in. If it was a 10 to 1 ratio, we would have 1,200 volts coming out. Um, but it's more like 2,000. So the turns ratio is probably more like maybe 15 to 1. So 120 turns down here for 120 volts coming in. Maybe 15 times more turns up here at the top. Okay, so keep that in mind. This is a step up transformer because we're stepping the voltage up to a larger voltage than we're applying on the input. Okay, this is a modified microwave oven transformer. Some people refer to them as MOTs. What I've done is I've, I've taken the secondary windings out. There were some high voltage secondary windings in here where you can see these holes. And I just cut those out with a hacksaw. So what we've done is we've, we've still got the primary intact. We can hook our 120 volts to the primary. Uh, but now we have a sort of a multi-purpose transformer. We can put as many windings in the secondary as we want to generate any kind of voltage we would like to generate. What I'm going to do first though is I want to show you how we can generate a voltage at all. I'm going to go ahead and feed. This is the number one cable, one aught cable. I'm feeding that into the transformer. So there's no physical connection between this cable and the rest of the transformer because there's a or no electrical connection. There's, this is rubber, real thick coating of rubber. And I'm going to turn this on. And you'll hear a hum from the transformer when I turn it on. Okay, so it's humming. Now if I take uh, these two terminals and touch them together, you know, notice I get a lot of sparks. It's very different from the high voltage sparks that we were getting from the unmodified microwave oven transformer. And there's a lot of current in this conductor when I do this. Now I'm going to show you how much current we've got here, or uh, at least give you an idea of what's going on here. I'm going to take a metal bar here. I'm going to hook this into both terminals. Okay, now I've got this hooked up between these two terminals. And while we're waiting for this to do something, let's uh, measure the current here. We can see here that the current is 270 amps and falling. Okay, if you notice, about now it's getting a little red. And in fact, it's starting to bend. I can actually bend it. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to turn off the transformer. And pull this out. Okay, we're going to look at transformers. Um, what we had, as far as the microwave transformer goes, is a transformer with a few windings in the primary and a bunch of windings in the secondary. So usually you'll see the transformer symbol this way. Uh, these are the primary windings and these are the secondary windings. And usually the primary windings are the input and the secondary windings are the output. And we show these lines right here to show that this is an iron core transformer. You can have air core transformers or you can have iron core transformers and power transformers are iron core transformers. So in this particular case we had a transformer that had 120 volts on the primary and 2000 volts on the secondary. Okay, If you want to find what the turns ratio is it's simply going to be the secondary divided by the primary and that gives us about a 16.6 .6 ratio. We'll just round that to 17. So that means we have a 1 to 17 turns ratio. Now this doesn't mean that we have one turn here and 17 turns here. No, it doesn't mean that at all. It just means that the ratio of turns is 1 to 17. If you put one turn on the primary and 17 turns on the secondary and you plug this in the wall it would just basically um, short the, the wall outlet out. That's because you need enough turns to have enough inductance for the transformer to limit the current to a safe value. Now we know we had 120 turns roughly for this transformer. So we know if that's the case, 120 turns, that we have 17 times more over here. So one way to do the math is just we know that uh, we have 120 on the primary times 17 turns, um, 17, and that gives us 2,040 turns on the secondary. So this is 2,000 I think it was 2040, wasn't it? Yes, 2040 turns on the secondary. So that's the way this particular transformer is constructed for the most part. Now, if we want to modify the transformer, this is a high voltage transformer. And by the way, the VA rating for this transformer is about 1200. VA, that VA just means the product of the voltage and the current equals 1200 VA. So you can find out what your current capability is on either the primary or the secondary by using that number. So if we know that, for instance, we have 120 volts on a primary, if we take 100 and, or 1200 VA divided by 120 volts, that will give us 10 amps are possible on the primary. And that's good because that's within the limits of the circuit breaker hooked to a wall outlet. So that means you wouldn't blow a, um, a wall outlet if uh, everything was, was done correctly. Um, on the secondary, you can do the same thing. You can say we have 1200 VA divided by 2000 volts and that ends up equaling about uh, let's see 2000 divided by oh, I'm sorry I got that wrong 1200 divided by 2000 equals 0.6 and that's going to be amps so on our secondary, even though we have a much higher voltage, we have a much higher, uh, lower current cap carrying capability. And that's the nature of transformers. Power is conserved. Voltage times current is conserved in a transformer. Of course, there are going to be some losses, but for the most part, power is conserved. 
and so we can use this idea of uh, the VA rating to figure out what our current's going to be if we know our voltage and vice versa. If we know the current we can figure out what the voltage is going to be. When we modified this transformer what we essentially did was we had on the primary these windings coming in and we know that was 120 volts and what we did is we added a single turn on this side now there's a couple things we know about the transformer we have a rating of you can do this experimentally and you find out that you roughly have a volts to turn ratio of one to one so you have one volt per turn and you really want to try to find that out with any transformer if you want to use it to build something you want to put one a single winding around and you typically want to load that winding down have it drive something that's got some uh, resistance to it um, a fairly low resistance too and measure the voltage now when I did that for this transformer I came up with 0.9 volts per turn but I'm gonna round that to one so with a single turn we should have one volt and the turns ratio here is 120 to 1. This is a step down transformer. This was a step up transformer. And when we refer to step up, we really mean what's the what's the voltage do? Does it go up or does it go down? Here, we got 120 to 1, and so this means that our voltage is going to be reduced by a factor of 120, but our current capability is going to go up by 120. So let's do the math here. We know we've got a one, 120 volts and 1 volt. We had how many turns? 120 turns equals one turn over here and we still have our 1200 VA rating here that's the property of the transformer so our on the primary we still have 10 amp capability because that's just going to be 1200 VA divided by 120 that didn't change but on our secondary our VA rating is uh, we have a 1200 V 1200 VA rating divided by 1 volt which is going to be 1200 amp capability okay so these two this product of these two should always equal your VA rating so this means you can get a lot of current out of this because you it's a step down transformer with a low voltage but a high current because the power is conserved in a transformer and we refer to this as a step down transformer um, very useful for things like uh, welding spot welding um, any kind of welding and uh, also for obtaining large magnetic fields so I hope this helped and let me know if you got any questions